Hi friends! My name's Jordan and you're watching Criminal Crafting. To get it right. Trying to find some balance in my life. I never really put up a fight. Thank you all for being here today. If you're new here, my name's Jordan. Here on Criminal Crafting, we talk about all things true crime, court cases, crime cases, missing persons, you name it, we talk about it. You guys, today's gonna be a quick one, but I wanted to do an update on Dylan Rounds because I had done several videos on him when he went missing. I wanted to make sure and update you guys. So it's just gonna be a quick rundown of the case and what's happened since. 19 year old Dylan Rounds went missing from his farm in Lucen, Utah on May 28th of 2022. So almost, it was almost a year ago. We're, we're getting pretty dang close to a year. They haven't found Dylan yet. But criminal charges have been made against a man named James Brenner. James Brenner was a squatter on Dylan's property and had worked for the family on numerous occasions. They considered him a family friend. He's been in jail on gun charges since July of 2022 and now has been charged with one count of aggravated murder and one count of desecration of a body. The probable cause came out and said that the boots that they found on Dylan's property that were Dylan's had not only Dylan's DNA on it, his blood, but also had James Brenner's DNA on it, which prior to this probable cause coming out, we didn't know that James Brenner's DNA was on those boots. So that's a pretty huge thing in this case. Police also tracked Dylan's phone and found it in a missing pond, which is a pond on Dylan's property. And we knew that already. But police now have done a digital forensic download of his phone, and they found a video on his phone. It was a time-lapse video that matched the timestamp of when Dylan went missing, and the video showed James Brenner cleaning his gun with blood on his arms and his shirt. They've tested that shirt now, and Dylan's DNA was on that shirt. Dylan's blood was on that shirt. After a lot of searching for Dylan, police haven't been able to find his body, and they say it's because James Brenner hid it and concealed it. After Dylan went missing, they found James Brenner about five miles away from Dylan's farm squatting in a trailer. Apparently, he took his guns to a neighbor's house and told that neighbor that he needed him to safe keep his guns for him. And he said the reason was because when he had gotten in trouble with law enforcement before, they had taken everything. So he was worried that they were going to take his guns. If that does not scream guilt, I don't know what does. <laughs> but that's the update that we have in the case. What do you guys think? find his body? Do you think James Brenner will confess? What do you think is going to happen? I hope more than anything, this gives the family some closure that they know James Brenner is paying for his crimes. Heartbreaking for the family, but I hope that it gives them a little bit of closure and a little bit of the answers that they needed. I hope you guys all have a good day, and until next time, we'll see you later. Bye! <laughs>